Hello everyone, this is Senashok and today we are going to talk about data modeling, one of the most important topic of admin beginner. So yeah, let's get started then. So yeah, data modeling divided into three parts, okay, object in Salesforce and object relationship and last and final schema builder so first of all we're gonna learn about what is object in Salesforce got it as we have learned in our previous uh, video that we have created some custom object a class and student so let's revisit it that okay yeah, here we go this is class and this is student which we have created in our previous video <coughs> So yeah, those are the custom object, right? And and this all account, contacts, opportunity. These are standard object. So let's learn about those things. So object. There are two types of object in Salesforce. Got it? A standard object and custom object. So let me first of all click on setup. So we are just gonna go on a home page. From there we can redirect to our object manager, where we can see our objects of our organization okay there we go I just have to click on object manager so I can see as many objects are there in my organization give it a second it just okay yeah. <coughs> so these are the object manager where our objects are stays a place I mean standard and custom both object okay so here you can see this all are the uh, stand, standard object as it written in types it has written standard object right I would uh, when I scroll down we will find our custom object also there so yeah there we go the class which we have created on our previous video that was custom object so it has written custom object in its type right and same will go for a student also okay I just have to find it it will just load something just give it a second okay there we go social uh, student yeah for student also it has shown the same thing mm, yeah there we go the student this was the student custom object right <laughs> there we go. when we have custom object the API name would be this way right underscore underscore C that's what sim symbolize a custom object and if uh, if you want to see like uh, the standard object API name so I'll just click on any one of these standard object like accounts okay just give me a minute Okay, when when I click on account, the API name would be not same as that. That underscore thing would not come in this. See, it just written account because it is standard object. It is pre given by the organization or by the Salesforce. So that's the different first first of all main difference between object uh, custom object and standard object. Now let's read about those. Okay, okay. So standard object, they are the object that are included with Salesforce, right? Common business objects like accounts, contact, leads, opportunity are all standard object. They are pre-given by the Salesforce and we can directly use it without any hassle. They all have their representative fields for fulfillment of their purposes, okay? They have their fields already uh, created by this system. Now custom object they are the objects that you create to store information that's specific to your companies or the industry just how we create a student uh, underscore underscore C object in our previous video right we had the field which we want to use in our custom object now now we will learn about the object like uh, in a scenario way the objects are a container for your information okay but they also give you special 
functionality for example when you create a custom object the platform automatically builds things like the page layout for user interface we don't have to create like we don't have to modify or do process on those things like page layout and all those that system do itself we just have to create our custom objects and its own fields right so yeah uh, when it says now the objects are container for information so the object names are the container names right and the fields are the inf information which we are putting inside the object this all a uh, class date of birth division email student name student roll number okay so now let me teach you in a representative picture representative way okay so we have two objects right okay. so yeah let's make it large so you can see it okay Okay, ready. Now, this I just have to create word something. Okay. These are the standard object. Again, so it hasn't written right. Okay, standard. Check. Make it size twelve. So okay, yeah, it's okay. See now that's the standard object, and now we will wanna create and name it as a custom object. Okay. Okay. Now what are these the round shape all things like a marble? These are the fields. Okay. This is standard object and see the objects are the same. It's just the difference between them is that standard are given by the company and object uh, custom object were made or created by user. ओके, द फील्ड, दिस इज जस्ट अ होलो बॉक्स, ये एक खाली बॉक्स है जिसमें हमें फील्ड भरनी होती, जो कि एक तैयार किया हुआ बॉक्स हमको सेल्सफोर्स पहले से ही देता है, जिसे हम बोलते हैं स्टैंडर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट, जिसमें फील्ड भी दी होती है, जैसे कि हम यहाँ पे जब हम अकाउंट बनाते हैं, व्हेन वी for custom object we have to create fields and then we have to uh, uh, switch it inside the object when we created the field it would automatically switch inside the object so yeah uh, custom object is a hollow box empty box in which we will add our fields with content okay and that's how that box would be filled now these are the content of that box and this is holo box the empty box name okay got it this thing are the objects okay so recap uh, we have two objects in salesforce standard object and custom object standard object are pre-given by the companies or by the system and it has pre-given or pre-created fields also so we don't have to do anything much in that and second is custom object in which we created our own field the fields which we re required okay and modified by our own re requirements and that's what we call custom objects okay now <coughs> customize responsibility this is for the things we have to keep in mind when we created our objects, uh, our custom objects, right? Okay. So while it can be seem easy to add and customize object, 
remember that what's going on under the hood is technically complicated. Here are the some best practices to keep in mind. So, okay? so as, as I said earlier, be thoughtful about the name. Once you start creating a bunch of objects, it can be tempting to give them lazy name. Give your object and feel descriptive, unique name to improve clarity. See, when we cre created object in, uh, in Salesforce, uh, feed would be like ample of fields, right? Num number of fields we will create it in that. So sometimes it might be happen that we would give a lazy name. Okay, so always thoughtful about your name. Give it a mean meaningful name so that we can understand in future also. In second point is even help out your user. Even with careful naming, your user might not always be clear about the purpose of a particular object or field. Include description for your custom object and field. If it's required, add description for the fields you have created. Okay. For specialized, uh, specialized or complicated customization, use help text to give more detail. We can add help text also if it has some complicated customization like forum formula fields. Third point, require fill when necessary. Sometimes you want to force your user to fill out a fill when they are creating a record on a certain object. See, uh, the things with the require fill is that uh, in Salesforce it says that uh, don't use require fill so often, okay? Means don't make every fill of your object as a requirement because it would be hard for a user or for a customer to fulfill that need. Like we have to input every detail in that form. So always try to create the required field that is mostly required, okay? Like a student name that was required. Hmm? Phone number, if it's required, then just make it required. So user have to input. If he or she didn't input that, it wouldn't be saved, okay? So that's work of required field. And we have seen uh, like how to create it field in our previous video. If not, then I'll just show you one quick recap. So after created a custom object, for custom object you can just create it from like here also. You can just create new object in home page itself, right? New object and it will redirect to the page where we can create our custom object. I think it's loading, just give it a minute. One minute guys. it's not working I think okay let me click on object manager and then I'll try to create a custom object okay so I'm just creating a click on custom object and see what happened okay we got something like create new custom object but it haven't up updated whole page so yeah right now it's not coming but we have cre created custom object in our previous video so yeah go check that out okay so okay it has come on man. okay yeah see it has every field like custom label the name we can give an accounts accounts to student and students and all uh, things which we have to fill for custom object so that's how you can create a custom object and then you can create it fill by selecting in field and relationship option and then here you can just see the new uh, new button you just have to click on this and you'll just get number of data types you can select anything from this whatever you have requirement and just click on next and then you can create that field okay so that's how we created fields in object now we come to next point uh, next topic object relationship right now uh, there are two type of relationship in Salesforce uh, which I have give, written here but first of all just look at what I have written okay so now that we are comfortable with object and fields it's time to take things to next level with object relationship 
object relationship are a special type that connect two object together let's think about standard object like account if sales representative opens an account they probably been talking to few people at that accounts company they probably made contacts like executive or it manager and store those contacts information in salesforce it makes sense then that there should be a relationship between account object and contact object and there is so सेल्सोर्स में रिलेशनशिप होती है ठीक है जैसे कि यहाँ पे एक एग्जांपल लिया कि एक अकाउंट हो और अगर वहाँ का जो सेल्स रिप्रेजेंटेटिव कोई अकाउंट खोले तो वहाँ पे जाहिर सी बात है कि वो बहुत सारे लोगों से बात करता होगा ठीक है और वो जिन लोगों से बात करता होगा उनके कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर भी उसने लिए होंगे मतलब कॉन्टैक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन भी उसने लिए होगी और वो कहीं ना कहीं स्टोर किए होंगे सेल्सोर्स में सो so, वो भी ये चाहता होगा कि जब वो अकाउंट पर क्लिक करे जब अकाउंट की डिटेल आए तो उसको वो वो जो भी लोग कनेक्टेड है उस अकाउंट के उनके कॉन्टेक्ट भी डिटेल आने चाहिए सो इट वुड बी इजी फॉर हिम टू एक्सेस राइट सो दैट्स व्हाट वी आर टॉकिंग हियर सो या व्हेन यू लुक एट द अकाउंट्स रिकॉर्ड इन सेल्स फोर्स यू कैन सी देयर सेक्शन फॉर कॉन्टेक्ट ऑन रिलेटेड टैप यू कैन ऑल्सो सी देयर बटन दैट लेट्स यू क्विकली एड कॉन्टेक्ट टू एन अकाउंट सो आई हैव गिवन यू पिक्चर ऑफ दैट वी विल गोना सी इन अवर और जस्ट सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिक्चर ओके The account to contact relationship is an example of standard relationship in Salesforce. But just like object and fields, you can build custom relationship as well. Okay, so let's see first of all this the example which we just have talked. Okay, account. We will select any account which company has given us. Or or okay, I'm just gonna click on Burlington Textile. and in related we can see first of all just click on detail so yeah we can see the detail of account account number ac uh, annual revenue billing address like s sla account name phone number now the custom uh, the contacts which are related to this account are comes in related section like jack uh, jack roger right these are the person who are connected to this account burlington textile so it it would be easy for the user so move from here to here within a second see now the button which we are talking in our doc file is new button right so we can see here this thing new button from here also we can create uh, or add contacts in particular account so yeah Here are the fields which are necessary to fill, and after click on save, it would be add on that related. So just created one, okay, Mister Parth Shah. Email would be just email Parth Shah four two five two at the rate gmail dot com, and phone number yeah. Okay, and now I'm just gonna click on save. So we'll see what happen. It should be, yeah. The contact has been numbered up, so it's been two. Now part sha can be seen related of account. See, now that's how we can quickly create contacts in account. Okay. Okay. So now we are talk talking about relation. So there are two main type of object relationship in Salesforce. Lookup. and master detail so first of all we will talk about lookup relationship in our account to contact example above the relationship between the two object in lookup relationship is a lookup re relationship i'm sorry a lookup relationship essentially link two object together so that you can look up one object from the related item on another object right lookup relationship can be one to one or one to many the account to contact relationship is one to many because a single account can have many related contacts as we seen here a single object account is a single and contacts can be number of time now i'll gonna show you how this relationship work look up relationship okay so let me first of all yes this thing okay ओके 
okay we just clear it okay now I just gonna add one object so I can show you how it goes okay so this is our account object got it and this will be our contact object both are standard object now they have a lookup relationship okay so okay so they have lookup relationship and we just created a relationship between them by this line okay we just showing a relationship through a line now uh, context can be many right it's one to many real relationship right now let me to show you how like where we have to create it this type of thing i'll go in fields and relationship in account object and we'll see if there is a contact relationship or not so we don't have right so now we're gonna switch to context object and we just click on it field and relationship and we're gonna see the account relationship here yeah so here you can see the first and foremost field is only the relationship we are looking account name right account ID the field name is account ID like uh, this is we, we can say API name which we gonna use in our apex or query as SQL query but that's that all would be on a further lesson not now so yeah you don't have to worry about that now as, as we seen uh, as we read in in our document that was that account and contact are lookup relationships so yeah here it is written lookup relationship right so here contact is a child and account is a parent so let me if here also so this is parent and this is child okay now relationship rishta uh, lookup relationship means if we modify or delete the parent the child would be intact means अगर parent object को यानी के account object को कुछ भी हो जाए means if I del deleted this object तो इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि इसके जितने भी related थे वो भी delete हो जाएगे so let me show you Burlington okay so let me take an, another example just give me a minute okay let me take grand hotel and resorts it has a related contact or not okay it, it has to right the name would be Tim bar and John Bond okay so this is the parent object and contacts are the child so let me delete this okay I'll gonna delete this account but the contact would be in tech okay Tim bar and John Bond okay delete could not come because I show you the following cases. Okay, it has been associated with something, so it can't be deleted. So let me create one account. So I'm just gonna show you quickly how this work. Okay, uh, Deepak, I think that's the only required field in this. Yeah. Okay, just save it. After Deepak, we're just gonna add some context in Deepak. So, just, uh, let me put here Sumit. And number would be okay. And I'll just gonna save it here. So now Deepak is a parent, and Sumit is a child, right? In a relationship. Now. If I delete Deepak here, Sumit should also be deleted, right? Like uh, in a relationship, it works. But in lookup, it doesn't work like that. If I delete 
Deepak, Sumit would stay there only. I'm just gonna show you in context. So Deepak is deleted, right? Also get deleted. Just let me do once again. Okay, so I just gonna get account same name Deepak. And in contact, I'm gonna add some contacts here. Like Sumit. Just gonna put some number here and gonna save it right okay now I just created a contact name Sumit now I'll add this to an account name right so I'll go on a detail then I'll gonna click on account name in account name I'll gonna search it will show Deepak and I'll just gonna click on Deepak so yeah now you can see Deepak here right now I'm gonna delete Deepak here and we'll gonna see what happened now. Okay, it is deleting I think because standard function. I think that's why it's deleting but it shouldn't delete this thing. In lookup relationship majorly thing happen is like if I delete I think this is stand, uh, standard function that's why this thing happening okay if I deleting a parent in lookup relationship child would be in tech it will be inside the organization right that's how lookup relationship works now we're gonna see master detail while lookup relationship are fairly casual master detail relationship are a bit tighter in this type of relationship, one object is master and another is detail. The master object controls certain behavior of detail object like who can view the detail data. When we delete master detail object, uh, when we delete master object, detail object will be deleted automatically, right? In other word, when we delete parent object, then the child object will be deleted automatically. Whereas in lookup, this is not this scenario. Even if we delete the parent object, then also child object would be survive and we can access and use the child object so let me erase this first of all so we can look more perfectly okay so now i just created a two two custom object right so take it one and two and in between those we have a master detail relationship I'm gonna put this broader line so it will sign that it has master detail I'm just gonna name it class a student parent child okay so in master detail things happen here is that okay, when I when I create uh, when I modify or delete this parent object there would be impact on child the impact would be the child would also get deleted okay in master detail that's why it says master detail it is tightly relationship uh, the lookup relation are loosely okay so I can show you some example here we have just created a student and class mm, let me see what relation do we have there okay ok 
Okay, so it's taking some time. Okay, we are inside the student, and first of all, I'm gonna see what relationship it is. Okay, master detail, right? Master detail with the class. So, what does that mean? If I deleted a particular class, like if I delete ninth class, all the student of ninth class will automatically get deleted because class is a parent and student is a child in master detail relationship. Okay. Now we have learned about these two relationship. Uh, lookup relationship is a loosely based. Uh, Pair, uh, if we delete the parent, it would not affect or it will not delete the child also. But in master detail, they are tightly coupled. If I delete a parent object, the child object also deleted, which are related to that parent object. Okay. Now, we'll come on our main, uh, like third topic, schema builder. Schema builder is a tool that lets you visualize and edit your data model. It's useful for designing and understanding complex data model. The various objects and their relationship of Salesforce application can be easily viewed using the schema builder and not just viewing, but we can also design, modify, implement new data model using schema builder. Now, schema builder has a drag and drop interface, which is used to perform all the activities. It shows all the relevant details like field value, data types, relationship with direction and etc. Okay. So I'm going to show you the schema builder in our organization. So I'm just going to click on home page and in quick find I'm going to write schema. Okay. And schema builder, click on schema builder. Okay. It's taking a little bit time to load. So schema builder in simple language, uh, we can say in schema builder, चीजें और आसानी से अपने देख सकते हैं मतलब flow क्या है, कहाँ से कहाँ जा रहा है, right? कौन सी का मतलब दो object के बीच में कौन सी relationship है, one to one है और one to many है, we can see those all thing. Now I can just gonna clear all, okay? यहाँ पे बहुत सारे objects के और सब क्या आ जाते हैं? जैसे कि सी यर ओके आज जस्ट वन ओवर इट एंड सी कांटेक्ट किया और नो ओके आज जस्ट वन क्लिक ऑन इट एंड वी कैन सी दिस लुकअप रिलेशनशिप फ्रॉम कांटेक्स टू अकाउंट ओके ओके नाउ these are the standard object, right? And we have seen this thing that lookup relationship. Here we can see a schema builder is just like a, a, a whiteboard on which we can see our object more clearly and only see the required thing like the fields and its type. Okay. So we will gonna see our custom object first of all. So I'm just gonna click on first of all clear on and then I'm gonna find my custom object which we have created. So I have created a student and class so yeah we will just gonna move from okay right we can see this and when i click on this line it shows master detail relationship from student to class like one student can have, can have man uh, one class can have many student okay and if i delete this thing the class, the student will automatically get de deleted because of master detail relationship. Okay. Now, the good thing about schema builder is that if you want to add something like fill, you can add from here directly. Like click on element and from here you can add fields and from here you can also create a new object. Right? You don't have to move to home page and then object manager and then create object. No, you can create from here also and you can add field from here also. So let me add a text field. 
uh, in class object okay so we we just creating a demo field here so let me add as a class floor okay length would be like 5 let me take it 20 okay it should be required or not no it doesn't should be required and i'm just gonna click save and we'll just gonna see a class food field created here so give it some time yeah you can see here class 4 and text okay and we have given it number of uh, the length of that words to 20 so yeah that's how powerful is schema builder we have all the field which we can get there we can add even we can add relationship here also so yeah this is schema builder where we can see our objects and film more nearly and more clearly okay so yeah that's it for today uh, we just learned about data modeling the important part in which we have learned about objects relationship and schema builder okay so we will learn more as we go forward in our classes so yeah so we just created so we have created our object custom object and we will see what we can do more on those things in our com coming videos so till then see ya take care bye bye